After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Here in Austin, Travis County Jail, 20 and 30 percent of people that come through here on a Friday night, they're alcohol induced. And alcohol is a big challenge here. You have to have a real sound mind, be a real tough skin, listen to the people and be patient with them, making sure they're safe and we're safe. But once they're sobered up, those are people that walk out in their normal everyday people. What did I do wrong? For one minute, guys, my threat. Can I go to the bathroom for something? Not yet. Sir, what's your name? Patrick. Okay, Patrick, check this, listen to this. What we're gonna need you to do is cooperate. Just stand still. And see, I am totally okay. cooperating. Okay, but I want to know why listen, I'm Patrick. here. Don't raise your voice. I haven't raised my voice at you, sir. I don't care what okay. you guys think. I need to go to the bathroom. Do you have any medical? See problem? how you're pushing me? Because you're not listening. No, you're no, because you want what you want. I'm not listening. I need to go to the bathroom. Get on your knees. Get on my knees, my ass. It's right my on my knees. Now the plan changes. I don't know what your charge is, but I'm trying to help you, sir. Hey. No, you're not trying to help me. I'm going to try and stand up. You're going to slam me to the ground, man. You're not going to sit. See? You're not going to stand up. because you See? Can, you're not cooperating, sir. What, what do you mean, cooperate? You you're mean, not listening. You can, I not cooperate with you? Maybe him sitting here for a few minutes, he'll calm down. He was it, basically, would not sit down, would not cooperate. Brought him back here, try to get him to cooperate, find out what the issue was. Once I get him to calm down, then we'll remove the mask and hopefully that'll defuse the situation. Hey, dude. Take these cuffs off of you, please. Lean forward, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You know what you're in here for, sir? Public intoxication is a simple charge. Do I look publicly intoxicated? I can walk any way you want. And now, now he's going to back out. Ask me if I'm publicly intoxicated. Sir, I'm telling you, you're delaying the process. I'm trying to help you, but you don't, you don't want to do it. I get no, it. you're not trying don't to. Don't step toward me, sir. I'm not, I'm not a top. What? what? Why don't, why don't you sit down, sir? Do you want to get out of jail today? Hey, listen, you step prosecuting back, back, step, me sir. for what? I'm not prosecuting you, Am yourself, I sir. guilty of something? No, no. I just, See, now you're going to slam doing my sir. face because you got no prerogative, okay? Give me a long time. What have I done? What have I done? As I told him, I'm trying to get him out of these handcuffs, but yeah, again, he starts to curse at me and holler at me. So again, we're back to leaving him in the cell until his aggression comes down. So. Tell me why I'm here. Now you are here. I'm here for what reason? Are we ready to come out of these handcuffs? I really want to get you out of these handcuffs. What do you think? Can we do that? Because I really don't want to keep you in here. Step, step right here, turn around, and we have to, have to turn around, go over here and get on your knees for me, just so I can take these leg irons off of you, okay? Okay, come on. All I want you to do is go out here and have a seat. We're going to screen you, interview you. All right, let me ask you this. Why was I arrested? Let me have the bag. Why was I arrested? Okay, you're charged with public intoxication. Do I look intoxicated? Well, that's between you and APD. No. Put your shoes and go I this will way. I put my shoes out. Okay, let's but go. But you arrest me for what reason? You detain me for what reason? You've been, I've been in this cell for two hours. For why? I want to okay, know why. Okay, like, like I said again. I want to know why. I'm asking you. I don't care what you're asking me. See? I'm See? asking See? you. Why was See? I in this cell See? for two okay. hours? Again. Go, go this way. Why? No. Go this way. No. Get off. You're in the, you're in the, you're in the, in my, my, my knee. <laughs> I Get your hand. You. Give me your hand. I got, hold on. What I tell you about approaching me, sir? Yeah, exactly. Why am I being arrested? 
Brandon, you assaulted one of my officers. I didn't assault anybody. Do you have stepped toward me? I asked you a couple no, times. Don't no, step. No, you didn't. Okay, I'm trying to work with you. You detain me for what? Now you guys are going to throw me in a chair? Oh, I'm going to strap you down here. Hey. Mm -hmm. And for what reason? You've been told ever since you've been here, so I what you're here for. You don't want to No, you guys, this guy's pinching my cheeks. I can't even talk. Are you happy? I am relaxed. I'm in no threat to nobody. I'm asking my rights. Lean forward, sir. Lean forward, sir. Lean forward. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. Hey, you guys, this is I want to know why I'm being detained. Take it straight down, sir. I'm asking, I'm asking why. Am I, am I, am I a threat? I'm asking you what I've done. What have I done? Do I look drunk? I'm sure you were told. I'm sure I was told by what, my mommy? Nope, by the officer that arrested you. And that was four hours ago, and I'd like to see, am I, I'd like a detoxification. Am I drunk? You gonna leave me in here like this? Yes, sir. You guys are pathetic. He's been here over four or five hours, and his situation is still the same. Normal turnaround time in most cases is four to six hours. But because we've had to slow our process down with Patrick, he'll be here past that length of time. I've been with Metro for about nine months now. Before this, I was a hairdresser, and I obtained a client who does work here for Metro at CCDC for the past 14 years. And she continued encouraging me to test for Metro. And, and I finally did and went through the academy, which was mentally and physically challenging. And the day I graduated, that was the best day of my life. And I haven't regretted the decision to change careers. Are you all right now? I'm Good. angry. Why are you angry? I was minding my own one business. One yeah, but were you drinking? No, you that kidding. was earlier. So you were drinking? Well, I had one What's beer. That? That was one like... only? That's it? That's all? No whiskey, no vodka, nothing like that? I'm going to go right police. You didn't do like shots and a beer, nothing like that? Hi. No? Hey. You know, the only part you did wrong was this. I walked across the street legally, and this man stopped me. And you know what that man's name was? Because I don't. If I did, I'd remember it. But I guarantee you this. It wasn't there. Was I don't know what he said either. And that man stopped me. It wasn't fair. And he stopped me. And then here I am. But we weren't out there. you got to understand, we were not out there. We are in here. You're here. We're just doing our job. Right in here. In a sink in here, you can get some water. Yeah. Well, can they see what that water fountain looks like? Hey, can you guys the rest Here, do you want to get some water? Hey, no, 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 no. we got to do Sit down. Sit down. Don't just get up. Do you understand? Exactly. See, or I'm going to take all the that chair. Off. Well, do it now. Do it in front of everyone. Come on, woman. Hey, hey. Go on. Come on. Legal. 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 Do it. Take me. Oh, yeah. Can we see this? Hey, can we walk him? Can you I can walk? see everything. Can you walk? Can you feel anything? Walk with me this way. Because my next one up, three, four, Stop resisting. All right, strap me in for 24 hours. Why do I have to suffer? Okay, Put your feet up. Hold on, bro. Like a human being. Why are you guys so weird? Benjamin, who was in here for a bench warrant, could not behave himself. He became resistant as well as combative and disruptive. So therefore, we had to put him in time out. Maybe after he cools off, we'll be able to start his processing all over again. You have anything on you? I'm checking. So what, what brings you here tonight? What? Prostitution, supposedly. Yeah? Yes. Oh, what do we have here? 
That's my money. You said you didn't have anything in your bra. Oh, you see, I have everything on the drugs. So what's wrong? Why are you so upset? They did what? Took my baby to animal control. Animal control? What is it, a dog or? A snake? So you're upset because animal control took your snake. Is that right? That's my baby. I just don't want him to kill her. Okay, ma'am, what I need you to do here is walk down this aisle and have a seat way at the very end. So does your fiance know that you were trying to prostitute? No. No? He does, does he even know you're arrested? Yeah. He's right there. Which one? The one with the blue collar shirt. The blue collar shirt up front? What did he get arrested for? Next! Because he thought that he was making me do this and that. So they think he's your pimp? Yes. Okay. And that, that's why they took your snake, is because he got Sorry arrested Sorry with the beard. Too. Yeah. Oh, they know. Okay. So if you came down here on vacation, was that your plan to solicit? You just got mad at him, right? Next! We got... Hey. To a girl. So you're saying the only reason you did all that was to make your fiancé mad? Yes. Because you had a fight? It's really Well, why did you... Uh, why did you... Uh... Proceed? Because, you know, well, any kind of girl, if they're mad at their fiancé or husband, if they're not going to, you know... Oh, if a guy tells them, oh, you look very pretty, you look very sexy, you're going to be like, okay, well, okay, yeah, hi, thank you, and, you know, you're going to Basically, you're saying back. you like the attention. Yeah, you're going to talk to them back. You should have more uh, respect for yourself than to do something like that. I know. I, obviously, your fiancé isn't worth it to do that to yourself. So how long am I going to see my snake, too? It's going to depend on how fast your paperwork's processed and whenever you, uh, you post bail, OK? All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Hopefully, I will see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Priscilla's charges are two counts of soliciting prostitution, one count of underage drinking, and one count of under 21 in a casino. When she came in here, she was highly upset. Her baby ended up being taken by animal control. Her baby was a ball python snake. So hopefully she'll get out of here in time to get her, her, her baby. I've been with the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office three years now. When people come in through the door, I try to get them talking. When they start talking, you can judge whether they're intoxicated, whether they're angry, upset. And uh, by there, you can judge their demeanor and know how to handle them properly. I do my best to have patience with people who may not deserve the patience because it's a professional atmosphere. And I try to be as professional as possible. I'm a child of God. I've never been arrested. My mama loves me. I just want to let her know where I'm at. She's 68 years old, man. Yes, I smoke marijuana. I don't care. Marijuana grows out of the ground. Y'all can do addiction over cocaine and heroin and all the rest of that. But I don't do none of that. I'm a child of God. I was in movies when I was a little kid. Robert Duvall played my father in a movie called Rambling Rose. I was in fried green tomatoes. My daddy was hanging in my basement five years ago. He was hanging from my basement, and I cut him down with a butcher knife. Y'all just give me a break. We're going to switch the cuffs. Oh, no. Don't hit the floor. Stand up straight. I am. <laughs> oh. All right, stand up straight. I don't even have the strength, guys. I'm not drunk. I got beat up by four people. Look at my eye. Right. He's got... Yeah, an eye injury and a head injury, so he needs to go get checked out. All right, Evan, come on. <laughs> I'm a child of God. I will be the next Billy Graham if God gives me the opportunity. I promise I will. I will change this world. That's my hero. 
he saved my life. I wanted to kill myself this time last year. All right, Evan, go ahead and have a seat. He's going to bring you to the hospital, all right? Thank you, guys. They're going to check you out. Thank have you a seat. so much. Go ahead, have a seat, boss. Watch your hand. <laughs> so, looks pretty bad. She's going to send him out to the hospital, get his eye checked out, get his head checked out, make sure uh, he's OK to be in our facility. So he should be back soon. They can't touch me. I'm a child of God. A child of the Most High God. Unloosen my handcuffs before I kill somebody. Go ahead and stand up for me, Uncle. Thank you, sir. Uh, stop right there. Slide these on your feet so you have them. My knee is about broken, I think. You think? Put your flip flop on. Unloosen me, right. sir. Listen. No, you listen. Unloosen me. Come on. All right. I ain't worried about y'all. I'm gonna have y'all's jobs. Ow! You're gonna have to start cooperating, man. This is gonna be a long night for you. You understand? I'm gonna kick somebody in the teeth, damn it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Walk. Walk. My wrists are bleeding, sir. I've been very calm for a long time, and y'all still had these cuffs on me. Well, you are being disrespectful. Y'all are disrespecting me. You need to stop now. Going nowhere, man. Just chill out, man. Relax. This would be a lot easier if you quit doing that. You know what? A whole lot easier. When you calm down and you can talk, we can deal with you, okay? Until then, you're gonna be sitting right here. Okay, now you make it threats. You want to be here longer? Come on, you can yeah. He's just going to have to He's a... He's a... He's a... Hang on. Look, have a seat, man. Have a seat. Do you realize by acting this way, you're going to be here longer? That's fine. I just want to talk But you're you. not... You can't call your mother right now. Yes, I can. You can't do it. You can't tell me what I can and can't do, sir. This is the United States of America. You are protecting me. I paid your salary. Listen to me. If you continue to act this way, we're going to have to replace you in a restraint chair. Quit banging your head, OK? If you act right, you'll be able to call her. So if you're worried about her, you'll sit in here, be quiet, and go call her. Stokes, I'll write it down for you. I'm just trying to okay? you, sir. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get you fired. I just want to remember you. It won't happen. So sit in here. Show you care about it. Hey, and you'll hey, be able to call. I am a business owner in this community, sir. Mm -hmm. Sit in here for a while and be quiet. We are responsible why he's here to make sure he's going to be okay and safe. We don't want him to cause any more damage than he actually has from the fight that he was in. Evan, come on back out here. Back out. Back out. There you go. All right, grab a seat. Shame for all of you. Y'all sit up. Going to hell. Sit up. Lean forward. Lean, Lean forward. your body forward. Right there. You don't have to squeeze me so hard. I'm right. resist. Put your hand in there for me. Yeah. I can't All even right. see. Put your hand right there. All right. So I hurt myself. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are the ones trying to hurt me. I'm a child of God. Nobody can touch me but the damn Lord himself. The devil can't even touch me. Get behind me, devil. You can't mess with me. These straps don't hurt me, devil. Ow. That's too tight. Get behind me, devil. You can't mess with me. Get behind me, devil. We'll check on him four times an hour to make sure he's OK. They can't touch me. I'm a child of the most high God. Yeah.
and the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride now the night hits my face and it brings me to life oh lord now i'm out that jail tonight another night in my street another night in my hair now i'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight i'm gonna go home to my family tonight i've been thinking about my home i've been thinking about my kids i don't want to be alone i gotta And the doors open up and they leave me outside I'm gonna go home to my family tonight